Welcome back to our live continuing coverage, your live continuing coverage of NAB 2017. This is the wrap-up show for day three. That means we only got one more day left. Is Triv never, is the, does he ever stop laughing and smiling? Can we get just get a shot of the crew Only when Eric Fletcher is on set. Yeah, he's got what? the shades on, on set? now. He's ready. Who, it's who's Eric? <laughs> who's Eric? All right. This is the wrap-up show for day three. That means we have one more day left, and, and we should break down day uh, three here. I got Eric Fletcher, SOC, to my left. Yep. Society of Camera Operators, Society of Camera Operators, SOC.org. It's a yep. wonderful organization. I'm an associate member. Yes, you are. We've got Allison Berger, who's joining us. Of course, she's been a co-host and roving reporter all week. Had some fun on the strip today. So much fun. And got a chance to interview Panasonic <laughs> and a lot of other great companies. And uh, Kyle Lawton is uh, joining us as well. She's been co-hosting this week, too. How you doing, Kyle? Oh, my God. So good. I absolutely loved, I think, my favorite interview today was talking about the uh, Polar Pro filters. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, you can put it on your drone. You can put it on your GoPro. Um, I just love the, just the, the, the tininess of it, right? And we also uh, walked around, and I got to talk to uh, an underwater drone. Wow. Okay, That's so definitely um, a Christmas present idea for <laughs> sure. That was so much fun. And, yeah, it's just been fabulous. So thank you so much. You're very oh, welcome. I didn't thank think you. about that. I should have been walking around making lists. Oh, yeah. Are you going to get me a Christmas present now that we're best buds? No, I walk around and make tax deduction lists. <laughs> I like You're that idea tax better. <laughs> I like that. The I, end I of the year. I use it and deduct it. The end of the year, Eric uh, probably has a great December, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is the uh, the JVC uh, you know bridge on your? Uh, That's list? actually pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm I love the arm the nuclear you, missile switch and then and the I Star Trek the, light. You and I had the exact same comment. <laughs> I said I don't know what this is when he sat down. I said whatever it is, I want it because yeah, exactly. of the light and the switch. Yeah. I said it looks yeah. like it should be in the DeLorean. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, and, yeah and it's I definitely it cool. Doc Brown, well, Michael, which is really how? funny because I just keep seeing the dielectric founded by Dr. Charles Doc Brown over there every time I look at you. You've been staring at that sign yeah. for three days now. Marty! Michael, what was your, I mean, wasn't it pretty meta when you were interviewing live stream? Yeah, I, th I thought it was, uh, so we had two live stream interviews today. Um, we had uh, the interview with live stream CEO Jesse, and I thought that was really cool and interesting. Um, and I liked where he thought the industry was going and what it meant for live stream and what it meant for us content creators. Additionally, um, I also really liked the interview with Loria and David Foster from Geeks Life and uh, Live Streaming Pros, and I thought that that was also very interesting, and I know that the audience liked that because we have a bit of a crossover audience. A lot of yep. our fans are their fans, their fans are our fans, however you want to put it. Uh, uh, Laurie and I did uh, work together um, with her, her former uh, production um, called Geek Beat, and, um, and so, you know, I, I think it was really interesting for the audience to kind of, uh, you know, they like it when we're together. We're integrating everyone yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. And I, so I thought it was interesting, and I thought that... Um, both of those were interesting. I, I, I really want that Mevo to be something cool and special, not only for us, but especially for people who are trying to get into the space. And so it seems like now it's finally there. I want to test it and see it. We have three, um, and we've never gotten them to work the way we want them to work, so we've never deployed them. But if they could work, they could be very powerful. Yeah. Cool. I'm curious, though, what, is your, uh, what, what was your take? Um, maybe you two talked about it on a, the telephoto lens that Canon's offering. The big monster one. Which I don't one? Know the, scale. The, the broadcast 50. lab side. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's a great broadcast lens. Canon makes great lenses. Fujinon makes great lenses. Uh, you know, there's the lens space right now is not a place I'd want to be because everybody is making outstanding optics. Um, yesterday we saw, not yesterday, uh, um, Monday uh, when it was the uh, the SOC Board of Governors. We a couple of us were here, and we did some um, partner and future partner tours, and uh, we saw the Sigma uh, 14 rectilinear that comes in a PL mount or an or a Sony E mount, thirty five hundred dollars. Wow! A rectilinear 14, it's insane. Here's the thing: I, I think you used to invest in lenses, right? That was the idea. You'd yeah. buy, you'd buy, you'd you'd upgrade the bodies and invest in lenses, and bodies were kind of the idea of throwaways. Um, 
but now I almost think that you don't want to invest in lenses because there are so many lenses it's, out there. Have like three or four or five that you really need, and the rest rent. Well, I mean, you, you, you sit here and start looking at who's in the lens space. You've got, you know, you've got Leica, you know, Sonder Optic Leica. You've got uh, Fujinon. You've got Canon. You've got Nikon. You've got Zeiss. You have Airy branding their versions of Zeisses. You have Zine. You Don't forget about Cook. Don't forget Cook, about uh, Rokinon, At Sigma, Atlas, the new company. Atlas, Atlas. You need another hand. Um, He's gonna start you've got, you've yeah. got uh, Scorpio making anamorphics. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that's missing in everybody's inventory is an anamorphic macro. Oh, don't forget we forgot Schneider Optics. Yeah, there's Schneider Optics also. I mean, it, you know, right there, that's like 15 lens companies. They're all fighting for the same, same dollar. They're all fighting for the same rental. And they're all putting their own special secret sauce on it. And each one of those 15 lenses has a different look. Right. Nothing is cookie cutter. It's absolutely amazing. And they're all fighting for people to purchase and people to use in, in rentals. It's and fascinating the performance to just see the perspective, like yeah. people's perspective. The, the performance on these lenses, though, is, is insane. And the prices are going down. I would, you know, Fujinon just came out with the MK series of zooms, $3,500. Yeah. For a three and a half pound lens, it's an 18 to 80. It's insane. And to answer your question, I, I think that, Canon makes some great glass. They all make some great glass, right? Zoom lenses are something that are certainly needed in the as they as they as we start going into the cinema series cameras and you know um, you know with the DSLRs we really needed something with a zoom rocker and all that stuff and then we went into the cinema series and we definitely needed it. In well, the Canon's new announcement's a big sports lens. It's a right. big slab. No, 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 I, I was going to say. Know, so then we've insane. got. So then we've got. So the thing is, Canon's price points on those zoom lenses for that stuff was so expensive. I, I could just never imagine love using how it. they're so then, massive, like an Uzi. Yeah. You know, it just right. gives you some sort of like power or yeah. something when you strap it on. <laughs> you know. You know, and and here's I'm another, here's another thing. Folks, I think oh. that it's just so much fun. All of this. And then you get to the big ballpark lenses that yeah. you're talking about, and I think, well, I can look at them. I understand them. I know what they do. I'm never going to use one. So Fuji Fujinon cool. has an 8K resolving <laughs> lens. You know, for yeah, two hundred thousand. Yeah. So, are we going to have you on the show again tomorrow? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, her we or him? Never, we can it, never. It all depends on the right. He's he's our resident now. I love it. <laughs> well, Michael, what do we have to look forward to tomorrow? Uh, well, I, we have a lot to look forward to tomorrow. It's, it's we still have a lot to talk final about today. Day. Yeah. We yeah. made it. We right. survived NAB 2017. Right. So we have the final day of. <laughs> do we have medals? Do we have medals? medals or no. like you get a high five. Monuments, maybe. Trink trinkets. You get here, you get the uh, live yeah. view uh, stress relief so, <laughs> for the plane ride home. Um, yeah, so I'm just curious, what are, like, what are things uh, you're looking forward to tomorrow, or what should viewers be looking forward to? So I think we've got a lot of great interviews tomorrow. We've got a couple more panels. It's a shortened day. It's the last day of, of NAB. Um, and so it's like a bittersweet day always because we have a lot of fun, but it's coming to an end. Um, and I think we had a lot of great stories on today and a lot of great companies, a lot of great products yesterday as well. I still think, uh, you know, I know that you didn't love the interview we did before because maybe I got a little too Just inside baseball. Let's not talk about it. No, no hold, hold on. But I enjoyed that, and I thought it was a great interview. The yeah, viewership no, no. certainly loved it. I loved having Mitch Dubin on earlier in the week. Yep. I, I loved talking about the 360 stuff. I guess I would say, is there a favorite interview that you did today? Yeah, the Polar Pro. Yeah. And then for you, Allison. I love all of them because each one I learned something different and new because this is my first time at NAB. So I've really had a great overall learning experience with everything. If you everything. had to pick one. Oh, I mean, every SOC interview that I had was really <laughs> great. <laughs> well, actually, every member of the SOC enjoyed the, oh, the that interviews that you were with. Yeah. What was your favorite uh, thing today? Uh, Jumping on with Craig? That, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. I mean, that's, that's a jaw-dropping product. And, and do you have a favorite product that you've seen here at NAB? Sky Techno. Okay. Uh, they've taken a Techno Crane, and instead of having the base mounted on the ground, they have it mounted on a, uh, a mover track on a um, uh, truss. Cables? So it's, yeah, it's like, a, uh, like a zip line cord? No. No, no, no. This is very different than that. Uh, this is... Zip line uh, for your camera? No. It's very different than that. It's a Techno Crane, which is an expandable arm crane, uh, counterbalance on the end, and instead of having the base on the ground, which would usually be moved by a grip, it's on a transverse track on the on, on a, uh, 
grid work. And one of the advantages is, is if you're shooting a concert, the promoter gains back 100 seats or 50 seats that no longer are restricted view or and have to be removed in order to have the Technocrane uh, base there and have room for you to work. Um, so the promoter gets room back. You now get interesting perspectives. I actually made a suggestion to the gentleman, and they were like, oh, wow. Um, there's the ability now to move that arm anywhere in the venue that you have trussed out and tracked because all you need is two mover tracks this way, the one linear track this way. Wow. And now you've got the 24-foot crane uh, that also telescopes. So you can drop it directly behind a performer, and nobody's going to notice it. It's not going to be that much of a problem in the show, whereas in the past, like when we did Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll, we had a, a Luma crane in, in the pit. Well, the promoter lost 100 seats that night for that first performance. And the second performance was on the stage. Both performances, every person in the audience bitched about the restricted view because the crane was in their way. Now, by with the SkyTech, no, it's not in the way anymore. Um, it's a it's a super interesting product. That's pretty awesome. Um, you know, uh, our friends at Cartoni just released the uh, the rollover, the third axis, yeah. um, the Dutch head, uh, which they actually called the total Dutch head. The total Dutch head that actually came out of a, a conversation Elizabeth and I had two years ago. And now it's a it's a product. You said she mm. listens to the. She, oh, she first totally of all, does. She goes she goes on location all the yeah. time, and she oh, listens. Yeah. I, I yeah. talked to her. No, about she's that. Yeah. she's fantastic, and she's absolute film royalty. I mean, she, no, she uh, absolutely. Yeah. That's a great title, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, you want something done in, in Italy, and you know, if she blesses it, it's happening in a heartbeat. Um, <laughs> but you know, that's that's a great product. Uh, you've got shot over with the. Um, with their products, which won an SSC Technical Award this year. Um, the, the variety of products is pretty amazing. The maturity level of products is pretty amazing. Are we seeing a lot of movement in new products? We're seeing a lot of movement in refining products. Um, Aerie's going to be announcing something brand new in May that I just took a look at today. And it's an absolute game changer for a rental house or for an owner operator. And that will maximize their investment and flexibility on gear. Um, Looking it's forward just, to that. Yeah, it, it's just it's it's a wide variety of stuff. How about for you? Did you have a favorite? We product? went over this already. No yeah, favorite product. <laughs> I said interview. Now I said product. Uh, I mean, I thought the broadcast drone that we had um, in studio was really cool. I yes. lifted it. I, I lifted it with one hand. Got, got the gun show going on with the drones. <laughs> it was happening. It was, I thought that was really cool. And that was a really cool learning experience for me because I didn't know that drones were being used like that in the news stations. And, oh, and yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. That's why May 6th, the SSC is having a drone workshop in California. Well, Eric, I'm sorry I didn't know you sooner to <laughs> give me all your wealth of knowledge. <laughs> cool. So what time can people expect us to be on tomorrow? Uh, we're on tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Pacific sometime. 10 a.m. Pacific time. <laughs> All right. And Eastern so Pacific, can, that's new. Can, I don't know what can, time zone I'm in. It, I'm yeah. in it. Uh, Adam, is that 10 o'clock Eastern time, Pacific time? <laughs> Jeez. The show opens at 9. Uh, doors nine. open at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. So, yeah, Pacific. tomorrow, nine, tomorrow nine the show five. hours are 9 to 4. All right. 9 to 5, we have our first guest tomorrow. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to just see, like, sort of feel the energy in the room. It'll be a little different, like you said, a little, like, bittersweet. But I think everyone's going to be just super stoked to go home, research these products. I cannot wait to just absorb everything that I've learned, um, you know, and actually make some purchases. So I think, you know, with that being said, I'm I'm ready to go get some I don't know, go research some more and, like, see what we're doing tomorrow. And Sounds what good. What do you think? I think uh, it's time. So uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get a little Dr. David Milch to stop by tomorrow and get him on, our uh, wonderful chairman who's been here all week taking us, this all in. Maybe we'll get Adam Holtz on a little tomorrow. We'll certainly show off the crew who's worked so hard behind the scenes, David Kleinstein, DJ Zayas. We've got Nick and Triv. And Adam Holtz, we'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. I've gotten it straightened out now, and we'll <laughs> see you then. Thanks so much for watching. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. On behalf of everyone at Be Terrific, we'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, be terrific. <laughs>